Hey, business building warrior. This is your host, Jim Cockrum. Welcome to Silent Sales Machine Radio. I've got a guest I'm going to be bringing on to the program in just a moment. A very unique interview today with a gentleman who lives in Bangkok, Thailand. Wow. Never thought this was going to happen. This guy's very creative and he just has expanded the entire replens opportunity for all of us. If you're not familiar with what replens are, let me fill you in very briefly. If you've listened to more than one episode of this podcast, you've probably heard us talking about the basic Amazon seller strategy that we teach around here. We've taught it to hundreds of podcast guests that you've heard come on our show, share their success story. We have a couple thousand success posts in our free Facebook group. There's links to that at silentgym.com. The basic beginner Amazon selling strategy that we teach, we call it replens. That strategy emerged from this community many years ago. We've perfected it and changed it over time, but typically it involves just filling the underserved shelf space at Amazon. Because if you didn't know it, about half of all sales any given day on the internet in the United States are happening in one place, amazon.com, which is somewhere between 150 and 200 warehouses spread out all over the United States. And there's empty shelf space there. There's underserved shelf space there. Learning to recognize what Amazon needs more of is the business model. Well, here's a gentleman we're going to meet today who's pursuing that model. He's a coaching student. He's seen some tremendous success. He shares with us today, he just had a $60,000 sales month. Blows my mind. He's doing it from Thailand He's sourcing his products in Thailand as well, but he's not bringing new products to the market. I can't emphasize this point enough. As a new seller, you do not want to be setting up new listings on Amazon. It's not necessary. It's risky. It's potentially very expensive. You could lose a lot of money doing it. You've got to have a lot of marketing skills, and that's just the start of the list. Do not introduce new products to Amazon as a new student. I can't rant or emphasize that point enough. The game is won by people who find underserved listings, testworthy ASINs, we call them, these ASINs that need more attention from more sellers. Our friend Fino, who you're about to meet, is doing that from Thailand. He's got products that he can access in Thailand. Those products are also available here in the US, obviously, because they're selling on Amazon. But he's shipping them from Thailand and they're so profitable to do so that he's still able to make a nice profit once they get here to the US and get listed against existing listings. He's selling against the listings that are already selling well. That's the replen system. At one point, you'll hear him today break down his system. He says, I just find listings on Keepa that are selling well. If you don't know what Keepa is, go listen to podcast episode 369 at silentgym.com. We'll tell you about that $20 a month tool that really gives you an unfair advantage. Silentgym.com slash Keepa is our affiliate link. If you don't mind using that, if you sign up for it. But regardless, that's the tool. He says, I find listings on Keepa that, make, that look good that I can source in Thailand. I check my profits on RevSeller, which is another tool. I'll stick a link in the show notes today so you can go check that out. It's an on-screen tool that pops up right on Amazon, right with Keepa. I actually have a demo video of both those tools working in conjunction at silentgym.com slash intro video. That'll require you to join our free Facebook group and then you can watch that video. But I'm just stepping you through the process that Fino uses. So quickly, he finds listings that look good on Keepa. He makes sure that they're profitable for him using RevSeller. That's it. He tracks his profits using one of the tools we love around here called Sellerboard, which costs about 15 bucks a month. Once you're growing, you can know which of your ASINs work and which ones don't. You'll hear him mention that today as well. There's a link to Sellerboard in our show notes. Silentgym.com slash numbers is the link you can use to go check out the special offer they have for our community. But that's it. Those are his tools. And he's running a $60,000 a month at a very attractive profit margin. You'll hear him talk about it today from Thailand. How about that? Very, very cool. He's also considering, I'm really encouraging him, I even talked to him offline today, about coming to our event in May in Orlando. Get details on our live event where hundreds of us will gather from this community, fellow listeners of this podcast, many of the people you've heard interviewed on our show, we're all gonna be there in Orlando, May 23rd through 25th. 
The website is three words, The Proven Conference. And I apologize in advance for the length of this introduction today, but I really wanted to cover this story because while Fino speaks English fabulously, I know that there were some pauses on Zoom and the, the audio dropped a couple times. I wanted to make sure you realize the power of what we captured today and not be distracted by our lack of audio quality <laughs> from this episode today, because this guy is a powerhouse. You're going to be hearing his name more. He's really built a beautiful business very quickly. It took him about a year to go from selling his first $1,000 a month up to a $60,000 a month business. And he spells out the details of it today. So let's jump over and meet my new really good friend. I can't wait to meet this guy in person, Fino in Bangkok. Enjoy. So hello, Fino. Welcome to Silent Sales Machine Radio. Good to see you. Yeah, Jim, it's my pleasure here too to talk with you today. Thanks for doing this. And it's... Uh, 1.30 in the morning in Bangkok as we're talking to you today. So thank you so much as well for staying up late and, and doing this interview with us today. But I'd love to get into your story. Are you ready to go? Yeah, sure. I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. So go back a little bit. Uh, let five years ago, I started my commerce journey on eBay as a dropshipping. Yeah, but as you might know that dropshipping, I lost off bubbles and each that face once in a while. So good for me that I intend that selling on Amazon is quite a good option as well. So that's why I decided to start my Amazon journey on around two years ago. This the, the first year that I have started selling on Amazon, I'm quite confused with the process and <laughs> spent the first year on learning keep confusing what's the model selling model should I use should I selling uh, but luckily that I found, found your community sales group Facebook group that, that is the first time that I have learned about the reprints business model and I like the concept and that is the starting point that I decide enroll in the in your costume the Proof in Amazon course. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So when was this? When did you find our community approximately? Approximately at the end of last year. So let, let's say let's say one year ago. La, the About last one year. year ago. Okay. So you've I been in our community, a proven Amazon course student about a year. And, and you live in Bangkok and you're buying and selling in the United States, correct? Mm, not, not like, actually I live in Bangkok. Uh, but uh, I register at a seller in the United States. Right. But all the products that I collect selling is the product that I source Thailand and shipping them to the US. That's right. You are shipping products to the United States. I remember that from your story. Right. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Well, tell me about that business. Tell me how it's going, how you find your products, and uh, let's keep the story going. Okay. Most. Let's say ninety um, percent of my products is based on the what is it? Teach in the course replenishable zero to one hundred k journey re replenishable. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so let me just make sure I understand you, Fino. Okay, you are using the replens strategy, meaning you're looking for existing listings on Amazon that are already exactly. performing well, and you're sending products that you know you can source in Thailand, and you're sending them to the United States against those listings. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I'm fantastic. Uh, I love that. I love it. You're, <laughs> that's a very creative sourcing strategy <laughs> to serve the existing ASINs. So these are products that are native to your part of the world, I take it. Mm, yep. Okay. Stuff that you can only get maybe in Thailand, for example. Yeah, I, I guess that that is a uniqueness that why the product sales. I mean, some of them pr sell pretty well. Some of them sells once once in a while, but uh, I, I use a strategy according to to the cost, the replenishable cost that focusing on the existing ace that already mm -hmm. uh, have a record of selling. Yeah, yeah, that's fantastic. I love it. I know we have some very creative international students in our community who are doing some very creative things 
uh, but actually sending products from their home nation to the United States to sell against existing listings is is a unique strategy. Uh, and I'm very interested to see how this might expand to other sellers as we have this conversation. But let me just make the observation. Most of our international students, most of them aren't shipping products any, from one country to another. They're not doing that. Most of them are just shopping online in the United States and having those products sent to a prep center. That prep center then lists the products mm -hmm. on Amazon, right? Sends them in. So you mm -hmm. are actually handling your own inventory a little bit, which is another way to do it, which is unique I, because I'm not aware of a whole lot of our students who are doing that. So that's great. I want to dive into it a little bit more. You may create some, some creative uh, new thoughts for some of the listeners today as they, as they hear this episode. So yeah, please continue with your story. I just want to make sure I was explaining to maybe some of the listeners who hear this, this is yeah. a unique arrangement that we don't hear very often. Mm. Yeah, I, I am happy and proud that uh, you, you said that the way that I'm doing it is unique and creative. Uh, I love creative. it. Yes, I, I just, there's always a new way to do this business. And I never would have imagined that this was one of them. It's fantastic. Um, quite interested that some other international students normally source products and using prep center. So according to my way, I, I think it it may not I, I'm just following your your course strategy that you find you find the existing listing that sales normal and sales well according to the keeper graph. Yeah. And then I'm just, just simply uh find that product on the Thai website. Yeah, that, or I'm simply uh, calculate the, uh, I mean, calculate the profit using the left seller software. Yep. Yeah. And whenever I found that there is a profit gap between them, I'm just simply. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. That's it. That's a very, you've, you've identified the entire process. You're just doing it with unique twist of sourcing products outside the United States. So the, the question I have is, I think the listeners might be thinking, that sounds yep. expensive. Shipping products from Thailand to the United States, that sounds expensive. How could you possibly make a profit after you've shipped stuff across an ocean to sell it on Amazon? Because typically we tell all of our new students, especially, don't ship anything across an ocean when it comes to Amazon, because there's just so much to learn. There's so many challenges there, but it sounds like you figured this out relatively quickly. And, uh, and just to restate what you just said too, I love how you just broke the system down. You use Keepa to find listings that are selling well at a price above where you can source them yeah. and send them to Amazon. And so that gap is your margin. It's so much easier to do when you don't have to ship products across an ocean. But you live in Bangkok. You've and you've got products there that you can do this with. So I'm loving the basic lessons from this episode so far. You mentioned Rev Seller. I want to just tell all the listeners that there's a link to that in the show mm -hmm. notes today. ProvenAmazonCourse.com slash Rev Seller. Good discount. Basically tells you very quickly if a product's going to be profitable for you or not right on the screen. I love that you're using it. A good tool. But... I want to hear a little bit more about the unique challenges of shipping stuff across an ocean. That okay. has to add at least some expense for sure to these products. Yet you're still running a very profitable business. Tell me, tell yeah. me a little bit about that. What's involved there? Okay. For for me self, be, before I even started to ship my first product, I, I'm still thinking that this is really possible. Uh be, because like like you said that. Shipping from Thailand to the United States, uh, the cost per pound per kilogram is quite high. Yeah, I'm, I'm even not sure that did I calculate everything already correct? Uh, did I hit the cost? <laughs> is, is the number on my screen right now is correct that I actually make the profit on, on the product? But yes, the... I have run this model for one year now. Yeah. And I also use the another software, which is a sales board that allow me to check, yep. double check the profit that how much money I make this month and the numbers 
we will just according to and <laughs> so so you're you're I, tracking your numbers you mentioned you're using seller board correct yes yes i am calling yeah. you the seller boss yeah for and for the listeners silentgym.com slash numbers is where you can go to read about seller board it helps you track your profits on a per product basis so you know if you're profitable or not and i love that you're using seller board from yeah. thailand in from bangkok to calculate your profits and then sending them to the united states and when the products sell you're able to do that profitably i'm just it, i really am kind of floored if that <laughs> if that slang makes sense to you floor like blown away like this is really cool that you can do that from bangkok and ship products using the replens model. I think this is going to get a lot of people pretty excited about what the possibilities are. That you don't have to just source products in the United States. You can source them elsewhere and have them shipped. You know, assuming mm. that you know all of your laws. And like, how much did you have any experience? Let me ask you this, Fino. Do you have any experience shipping products internationally before you started doing this? Uh, actually, actually, yes. Be before I start doing. Uh, the 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 model that uh, we are talking about, I have some experience to ship product from Thailand to the United States, uh, customer eBay, yeah. But but it's from on, your eBay sales, okay. Yeah, but but on that time, I'm just sending one product to yeah. specific customer, right? Yeah, but may, okay. maybe let's say that to ship product in bulk, I mean. In the heavy big box to the Amazon warehouse and selling as FBA is my f the the last year is actually my first time. Yes, and you you're just learning as you go. You figured it out. That's fantastic, man. Good, great job. I want to hear about some of your numbers. I want to hear uh, how the business is going. What's your profit margin? Those sorts of things. Whatever you can share with us. Uh, you've been doing it a year now, and yep. just talk to me about that. Okay. So, I started to watch the the cost, the replenishable cost on let let's say last year, let let's say the first of January. Okay. And I am really excited with the concept because because the numbers never lie, right? So, I can actually like making the one thousand on sales within within like the first month. Yeah. So. I would like to say that the first month that after I watch the course, I can make $1,000 in sales. And I'm pretty excited on that time. That So, so I just simply have to double the number of SKUs to, to double my sales. And then it just happened like that, double my sales. So the next yeah. month you doubled? Yeah, okay. that is uh, approximately. And uh, I guess the third month, uh, I I got ten thousand dollar in sales. Just just my first three months. Wow. The third. So the third month of of being a proven Amazon course student, following the replens model from Bangkok, yes. <laughs> you hit ten thousand dollars in sales. And about how much money had you put into your inventory at that point? Do you happen to remember how much inventory you had purchased in order to make ten thousand dollars of sales? Okay, fortunately for me that uh, I have the capital to start this business about dollar. Uh, that that is my first capital, but but I mean that I didn't put all the money. I didn't put all ten thousand dollars. Sorry, yeah, but I just would like to say that I start with the. I did not have the limit as that I have to put it in, so. It's easy for me on on that time, but uh, I cannot remember exactly what how um how how that oh that's I fine. Put in. But we can look yeah. at your profit margin when we talk about that here in a moment. That, that will give us an idea about how much inventory you purchased as well. We can do the math backwards that way. We'll get back to the show in just a moment, but I have to tell you about a coaching program that's been around for about nineteen years. It's coached almost ten thousand e-commerce business building warriors it's got a team of about 60 coaches who are not only great teachers with 
tremendous hearts who love their students, but they're all succeeding at the business strategies that you hear taught on this show. If you haven't figured it out yet, I'm talking about our coaching program. There's a link at silentgym.com. Get over there, get on our schedule, have a free consultation, zero pressure. We're going to help you build your business on that call. Sign up at silentgym.com free consultation, see if our coaching program is a good fit for you, where you get to not only work one-on-one -on -one with one of our tremendous coaches, not only do you get that, you also get a reactive coach that you can contact at any point in time. That's a separate coach. You get all the training and content that we provide around here at no cost now and into the future. Tremendous list of benefits. I'm not going to go into all of them right now. Silentgym.com click on the coaching link, sign up for a consultation. Hey, let's get back to the program. But we can look yeah. at your profit margin when we talk about that here in a moment. That'll, that will give us an idea about how much inventory you purchased as well. We can do the math backwards that way. But I just, uh, I love that you went from 1,000 to 2,000 to 10,000 in your first three months. And that was nine months ago as we're recording this here early in 2024. But that's a pretty fast upward trajectory. You were able to find profitable inventory relatively easily, it sounds like, and, and you ramped up pretty quick. That's fantastic. So how did it go the rest of the year? Actually, I, I said it a little bit. Actually, my, my Amazon journey started on about October, but but I mean, on October, I made 1,000. November, about 2,000, and I made uh, 10K. Okay, so December a little over a year ago. So you're about 15 months of experience and your first three months were 1,000, 2,000, 10,000. Okay, so how did 2023 go for you? 23, okay. So maybe I simply look <laughs> in my Amazon seller account right now to see so oh, that sure. I can tell yeah, exactly. That's, that's great. Okay, so this is the, the real, real number that I'm seeing right now of 2023 let's say last year i'm still making about 10k yeah and then it's clear every month yeah and i successfully hit uh 30 30k or september yeah and then 40k on and exactly uh, i almost make 60k on number 60k in november yeah. okay is this Pretty about nine, uh, sorry, 59, 59 K. Yeah, right. 59, right. almost 60 yeah. in November, right? And that's that's about three months ago. Um, 60, yeah. But let's say last month, December is almost 60 K as well. 60 then in December. That's fantastic. Congratulations. Yeah, and Congratulations. Thank you. you know, that's, that is a beautiful <laughs> business. And you don't have any of the advantages of being right here in the United States. You're doing this from Bangkok. <laughs> that is just fascinating yeah. to me. I love that part <laughs> of your story and the, your tenacity. And, uh, you know, English isn't your first language, obviously, although you're doing a great job. Thank you so much uh, for, for allowing me to, to speak to you in English, because if I had to speak, uh, it, what is the it, Thai, correct? Mm -hmm. what, yeah, yeah. Thai, yeah. right? I mean, I, 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 had, I know nothing <laughs> of your language. So thank you so much yeah. uh, for inspiring me, for inspiring the listeners. This That's a great story. Uh, how are thank you planning you. to expand your business? What are your plans for the future? Do you, you want to continue doing more of what you're doing now? Do you want to start sourcing products in the United States that you don't have to ship? Because that's certainly a possibility for any of us. You know, what, what are your plans for growth? Okay. So my this year plan, uh, I'm still, I'm, I'm excited about the audio that we are talking about, talk to the US. So my end of the year goal is to make seventy k of for this model, yeah. And I also would like to open the second Amazon selling account to to source from US using the preps. Yeah. yeah. So using the prep center that, model, right. A second account. Okay. That's, that, that's my plan to, to increase sale by sale to 
the second Amazon account just to using prep senders. Yeah, understood. That's a great idea. I love it. And we're happy to help you too. We actually know a service that can help you buy a second account as well. And, and Amazon will let you open a second account with permission, but be careful. Don't just sign up for another account without doing some research there because you'll need to have a separate business entity associated with that second account. We can help you with that. And there's a service as well at uh, silentgym.com slash buy or sell. They help people buy mm. and sell accounts as well if you want to get an established one. But yeah, just proceed with caution when you go get another account. All right. Uh, very yeah. good. Uh, actually, I just already uh, have spoken to Steve Wong, one of your coach. Yeah. And I, I might follow his advice to uh, fully open the second account. Very good. Yeah, yeah, I love it. It, it. Yeah, get some good advice there as you go down that road because you don't want to violate Amazon policy there. Mm -hmm. But so are are you a uh, are you a coaching student? Are you a coaching student in our program? Uh, yeah, uh, I've just signed up your coaching program maybe like two weeks ago. Okay, well, welcome. That's awesome. That's going <laughs> to help you expand very quickly. Welcome to the team, man. I love it. That's great. Uh, any chance of you coming to the United States in Orlando uh, in May? Mm, may, may, maybe, maybe not. Uh, maybe, yeah. That, I know that's a that's a big that's a big trip. But if you can come, I'll tell you this: the tickets are free. Just let me know you're coming. Don't pay for tickets, okay? I'd love to have you there. I think you'd inspire a lot of people. Uh, just having you there, there's going to be a lot of people mm -hmm. that would love to meet you and and spend a few minutes getting to know you. Uh, because you've built a beautiful business, man. And, and this is a very inspirational story. Wow. Well, oh, we didn't, you know, one of the things I didn't ask you that we need to hit to be thorough is your net profit margin. So mm -hmm. you, you've had some, you know, $30,000, $50,000 sales months, 60000 What are your net profit margins after you've paid for all of your expenses? What are you actually putting okay. in the bank? Currently, uh, according to the seller board, Mm, my my profit margin from from the this last December the the total sale is fifty uh, nine k right so and my final profit margin is about ten uh, k yeah that's that's outstanding that's a that is really nice that's a nice business model wow yeah so I'm happy with that about the number. Six, 18 percent 17 I'm not sure I'm doing the math in my head real quick I'm not sure but that that's phenomenal very yeah, well I done get it. uh yeah like like you say it is almost 15 percent profit 15%. percentage yeah. yeah yeah but well uh, done <laughs> that's great. my I, I would like to mention uh one more thing it is the return on investment right ROI yes. ROI yeah that's got to be pretty high what are you 50 60. Yeah, when when I source product, I I I aim the minimum ROI, for forty percent minimum as minimum. Okay. Yeah, but but sometimes it's it fifty, sixty, and the average is maybe fifty percent ROI, and right. finally the profit percentage is fifteen percent. Yes, final net profit. That's fantastic. You're you're doing great. I mean, as these numbers, these numbers scale beautifully and you've built a great system. Is it just you or do you have someone helping you source okay. these products and, and, and ship them to the U.S.? Mm, all, all the work that have been done uh, in front of the laptop, like sourcing, create a ship, FBA shipment and all of the computer stuff I am doing on myself, just just me. Mm -hmm. But the packing, I mean, the the packing in the box and ship to the United States, uh, to the US is, uh, with with the assistance from my parents. So technically, there there are there are four people in the business right now, uh, including me, uh, my my dad and my mom and another assistant. So we we are there are four four people in my team. That's fantastic. Great. And I love it. So you're building a business together with your family, get your parents involved. And I, I don't know what the conversion rate is for the US dollar in Thailand. Ah, like, okay. What is the, the like what's the the minimum wage or the average daily wage in Thailand 
if I were to pay someone in US dollars, mm. right? Because yeah. like in Vietnam, for example, uh, two or $3 an hour is a really good job US for most mm-hmm. people, like a minimum wage and, and in the Philippines. But I have no idea. I, d- I probably should have looked it up before the show started. <laughs> you know, how healthy is the economy in Thailand right now? You know, how far does the US dollar go in, in Thailand? Give me a point of reference. Okay. And maybe another way to ask the question, Fino, is if I were to go out to a nice meal and I'm paying in US dollars, how much money am I going to spend to get a nice meal in Thailand? Let's just do some example, like uh, you come to Thailand and you would like to pay some uh, local street food here and you're wondering how much would be in US dollar, right? Mm. So I would say uh, one dinner for you is only $3. A nice dinner, like a good, like good food. At a, at a, let's say at a, at a nice restaurant. Ah, so if, if you, if you say the nice restaurant, I would like to say $10, $10. Per, per one nice meal, mm-hmm. but may, may not the, may not be the too luxurious with wine, beer. <laughs> I mean, just sure, a- sure. But that, but, <laughs> but good food, good meal, like here in the United States, you can hardly buy a, a you know a fast food meal for ten dollars now <laughs> so you can go to a restaurant get a nice meal that just that gives me a nice image of uh, a visual for about what how the economy is doing to it you know what's the cost of a good meal here in the united states i would say about 30 to 40 dollars a person to sit down and get a nice meal at a good mm-hmm. rest decent restaurant right i mean the prices are a lot higher here obviously but what is the average wage? Do you happen to know if you were paying someone in, in U.S. dollars, like the people who work at that restaurant, what are they getting paid hourly? Mm. So, for, so for someone in Thailand who working at a waitress the, or the cashier, the, they get around two, $2 per hour. Mm-hmm. Mm. Two, two, three dollars per hour is, is an average job which is about what you'd expect to pay someone to prepare your shipments for Amazon, right? If you hired somebody and offered them, say, $3 an hour, that would be an attractive job for some people. Here in the United States, you couldn't find someone to work for $3 an hour. Actually, the minimum wage here is $15 per hour a lot of places now. So any chance we get to use friends who live in other countries where the dollar goes further, we love to help out. You know, So we've got virtual assistants, Filipinos on our team. For example, we've got a, some people in our community who use uh, Vietnamese virtual assistants, but it sounds like, you know, a similar scenario there where, you know, $10,000 US net profit is a lot of money in Thailand. <laughs> it's, uh, you, you've yeah. built a beautiful business, man. So I, I'm excited for you uh, to, to see how this continues to grow and scale. And I think you're going to have a beautiful team yeah. Right there in Bangkok soon, really expanding this thing. That's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, I, I, I love the... I have listened to your podcast, Jim, and usually mention about the, I mean, the gap between the wish of the Philippines virtual assistant that... Uh, I, I guess that Fi- Filipino is your main, I mean, main nation of virtual assistant and... You always mention that uh, yeah. the only wish that they get from doing the Amazon stuff is quite high for them. And but in from as as Amazon seller as we are, we let's say three dollars per hour is the the money that we love to pay. But uh, for them, is is it a pretty good amount of money? Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I I totally understand that. It, you know, we have, I, I talked to a doctor, mm. a, a trained physician who had been to eight years of medical school. He was yeah. from the Philippines. And uh, so a very intelligent, well-trained, respected, established physician in the Philippines who was earning five or six dollars per hour US. That was his wage. Mm. That's incredible to me. And, and, you know, I'm thankful for people like that. That's beautiful. But if I can pay someone five or six dollars an hour and create meaningful work for them that gr- helps me grow my business, what a huge opportunity. So I, I'm so excited about the future of these kind of arrangements, these kind of partnerships 
guys like you helping expose the opportunity in new ways, creating jobs mm-hmm. for friends and family. And who knows, man, you could have a company with 50 people two or three years from now and just change people's lives in Thailand, tapping into this international opportunity and, mm-hmm. and teaching yeah. us here in the United States, teaching us things we didn't even realize. You know, it, it, there's, there's, you're probably going to encounter products that maybe you'll need investors or partners or other people to help you get into these new markets. That's what we do here. So I'm super excited, Fino. I'm, I'm honored to have you in our community and truly grateful for your, your creativity and uh, your ingenuity, to use a yes. big word, but you just, you're a guy that solves problems, man. And thank you. Thank you for being part of our group. And I would love to see you in Orlando in May. That would just be a, a true pleasure, man really would. If, yeah. if that can happen, I would love to see you there, buddy. Yeah, I, I will definitely definitely look into it. And yeah. if it's possible for me, maybe I, <laughs> I will go there and just tell let you me in. Know. The tickets yeah. are on me if you can make it. Well, were there any other questions you had for me before we wrap this one up? It was great talking to you today. Unfortunately, I do have another appointment coming up on me pretty quickly. Yeah, that's okay. The question... I'm, not, <laughs> do not have question right now. Jim. Hey, you know how to get a hold of me if you think of something later. It, it's uh, yeah. perfect. It'd be great to hear from you again. I want to stay updated with your story. But yeah, I just wanted to give you a chance. If there's anything else you wanted to share or any questions for me, that's great. Otherwise, I think this has been a tremendous episode. Yeah. Yep. Thank you, Fino. And it's yeah. two in the morning where you are. It's time for you to go to bed, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Well, thank you. Now. Mm, I have no question and still don't figure out what, what to share for now. Yeah, yeah, but maybe definitely we can catch up later. Yes, please do. I'm, I'm available to you anytime. I love yeah. your story. I've done hundreds of podcast episodes with proven Amazon course students. And I don't think I've heard one like yours yet, where you're wow. sourcing your product locally outside the United States and profitably sending it to the U.S. using the replens model that we teach to all of our new students. I love it. It just shows how expansive this opportunity is, how global mm-hmm. this opportunity is. And uh, again, appreciate your time today, Fino. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm happy that my model that I'm selling can inspire or create the new way of generating income for your audience. Yeah. yeah, you're going to inspire a lot of people for sure. And, and thank you for your time. Well, okay. Fino, I'm going to talk to the listeners for a moment who joined us for this episode. Thank you so much for being here, Fino. But for the listeners who heard Fino's story today, that's powerful. That is an incredible story. And hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I do. I interview a lot of people around here and I don't hear a lot of stories like this one. I think it's going to challenge a lot of people uh, who don't have the the barriers that Fino has barrier barriers like English as a second language or living in a foreign country where there's a very different economic situation. He's overcome those barriers. So what's your excuse? That's my question to the listeners today. Hey, (laughs) Fino's doing this from Bangkok. You can do this. So thanks for hanging out with Fino and I today. It was truly a pleasure. And Fino, one more time, man, I just got to salute you. Beautiful business, my friend. I, I'm so excited to meet you someday. Thank you for your time today. Yes, thank you, you too, Jim. Really appreciate today as well for me. Thank you. <laughs> if I can do anything for you, please do reach out. And, and for all the listeners, thanks for hanging out with Fino, my new friend and I today. God bless you, business building warrior. We'll have another great episode for you very soon. Appreciate you spending some time with us today. 